we're going to try to sand cast a, a new uh, Lombard radiator cap. Uh, Terry Hopper made this beautiful pattern. Uh, he had a CAD drawing, and then he used a 3D printer, and I think he's cleaned it up quite a bit. Uh, Peter's going to try to make a casting. Welcome to Odd Duck Foundry. <laughs> We'll try it a couple of different ways. We'll okay. see if we can make a, because it's always good to have a spare. Okay. And we're going to use what's known as a horn gate, gate because it literally looks like a horn. Wow. That way the edges are going to stay clean. So we're adding sand. Yep. And Rick's making bread. The next thing it will kill you. So. Diatomaceous earth. Uh, yep. So this will come apart easier? Correct. No, well, sometimes the sand just does not want to cooperate. So here we are. The sand wasn't coming apart properly at the uh, junction, so we put some saran wrap in here to uh, help out. The passageways for the cast iron to come into the uh, mold. A lay of graphite on uh, both molds. Peter uh, built this furnace. Um, there's a blower, a three-quarter inch motor blower. Gravity supply uh, oil tank that uh, is the fuel. So cast iron uh, being melted for the pour. That's hot. So Peter's going to add some ferro silicon to uh, increase the carbon content. So that one looks good. The one that you already had. <laughs> yeah, but it still looks great. Yeah. So that Almost. one didn't quite work. Uh, so apparently the uh, cast iron didn't flow as nicely as we would have liked and didn't go into all the spots. Needs to be a little bit warmer maybe. And yeah, a little bit hotter. Little maybe hotter. Uh, maybe cast it upside down Okay. will help. Beautiful surface finish though. So that came out like you wanted. Ta-da!